2014 Chevy Silverado Z71 LT. What's nice about the Chevy Z71 LT, it comes with our recovery hooks on the front. Of course, we're going to start at the front of the vehicle because Chevy is known for the bow tie. And believe it or not, the bow tie is functioning on this new Chevy Silverado. What I want you to do for me, Jerry, is put your hand to the left of this bow tie and sweep it to the right. And that's going to open up our hood. To the left of the bow tie. To the left of the bow tie and sweep your hand to the right. Pull that lever, that's right up. What you notice when you open the hood up is the first thing you notice, Jerry. Everything's pretty much covered up. Covered up. This is the 5.3 liter V8, the Ecotec 3. What the 3 means is it's got variable valve timing, active fuel management, and direct uh, fuel injection. But that is, that is meant to make this the best fuel economy truck on the market. It's better than the Ford Ecotec, or was it the Ford, was it Turbo Diesel and V6 that they have out there? So, when, also what feature, what features we have underneath this hood is we have gel filled engine mounts on these Silverados. You said you have a Dodger, correct? Yes. God forbid you get into a head on collision, this engine is actually going to drop underneath, underneath this vehicle. It's not going to go into the cab of our vehicle. Um, we also have J hooks on these hoods. These hoods are not going to come into that windshield, God forbid, if we get into a collision. It's going to crumble up like a coke. Also, with these engines, we have a Dexton cooling system. Our cooling in this truck is meant to last 100,000 miles including our spark plugs. Our spark plugs are platinum tip. That's why we warranty our, our power train for five years and we put We're that confident in the engine we put out. We're gonna go ahead, if, if you look here, this is what is called an underhood blanket. The underhood blanket is part of the new, uh, new sound deafening technology they have in the 2014 Silverados. So what that does is keeps the keeps fiber underneath. You've got better insulation, you've got thicker insulation underneath. It makes it a lot quieter, quieter ride, ride for you and your daughter. So we're going to shut this and move on over to the passenger side of the truck. What I want you to look at right off the bat, this is going to have your 18 inch uh, match aluminum wheel, uh, rims on them. Do me a favor and fill it right underneath this wheel well. Feel that? Mm hmm. Yeah. What does it feel like to you? Kind of carpet. Carpet. Believe it or not, it's the first stage of Kevlar. What that is, you know, do you go trail riding? Mm -hmm. A little bit. A little bit of trail riding? Mm -hmm. You know, on the old trucks, you had metal under there mm -hmm. where you heard rocks. Ping, 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 ping. No, no one that is. Yeah. It cuts out on the ping of the rocks. You'd also think, well, you know, if I get in the mud, it's going to get dirty. The wash it right off. It does not stain. I want to move you this way, Jared. Also, one thing you might notice is how much bigger the cab is in this vehicle. What they have done is they have moved the big pillar up to give you more space in the second row, which gives you a lot more space in the second row. It's also nice about the second row. Seat storage right under, underneath here. You also have tons of cubby spaces inside of these doors, too. Also, what you may not notice what's different in the 14s is our doors are actually inlaid into the frame. They're not on the top like you see. Part of that sound up technology I've heard, I'm referring to. Also, our windows, our, our driver's side and passenger side is 5 millimeter glass. It's much thicker, and our front windshield is 5.4 millimeter. That also helps with the sound deafening and also safety and keep from getting cracks a lot easier. We're going to move towards the back of the truck here. And what's the first thing you notice when you get back here? I see there's some side steps. You got some side steps. And, tow package. and you got your tow package. The tow package on this truck can tow 11,400 pounds. Also, with these side steps, you have an integrated handle for your hand. Put your foot up there and step right up. Okay. Easy does it. You don't have those man steps that Ford has. Uh, you know, with Ford, you have to tailgate open at all times. Also, if you notice, what did you see there? It didn't slam down. Didn't slam down. Look at that shot. Open that up a little bit Nice and easy. I'll let the back up a little Your, your little girl could lift that tailgate. <laughs> but also, if you notice in the back, we have our backup camera. All our, our LT come with a backup camera. We also have our seven prong and four prong trailer light hookup. Also, you said you're on a boat. I want to show you a really cool feature of this truck. With this backup camera, you can actually drop this down, hook your tailgate just like this, Jared. I'm going to leave it like that. Do you ever have to load your boat by yourself? Put, hook it up to the trailer? Oh, yeah. You have to do it by yourself. Just pay a little bit. Do me a favor. You're going to join off in this driver's side of this truck. You're going to take it on the top of it. Here's the keys and fire that bad boy up for me. Now do me a favor and fire this truck up. 
I'm going to start her up. I want you to throw, this, throw it in reverse real quick, and you're going to see the backup camera. Nice about that feature, your hitch is right there. Like you can that. literally back this truck up right up to your boat by yourself. Easy. Put the tailgate back the way it goes. You're good to go. You see these lines right here? Mm -hmm. That is pinpoint precision parking. It's going to put you, it's going to tell you where the back end of your, your truck's going and how much room you have on each side. When you get to close to the red, you're going to be closer to hitting somebody. Okay. <laughs> Hope you have a good insurance <laughs> at that point. So what I'm also, you can go and turn it off. Uh, we'll go and leave it on. I'm also going to show you is everything is hands-free okay. up at the front. You can control your whole dashboard at the tip of your fingers. What I want you to do is, we got low fuel here. We're going to go ahead and pull up, go to my information board, click up to the information board. Go ahead and hit the, hit the check mark right in the middle. Okay. You have your digital dash. You can do a digital dash. Now scroll down for me. It's got your, your trips, trip A, and then you have trip B. You can keep going through it. Keep going. You'll have your, your fuel range and then your, your engine hours also, and your fuel lot. Keep going. And you can keep scrolling through that until it comes back up to your digital dash, or you can leave it on any other one of those options that you may like. Okay. Also, what's nice is we have our cruise control on this side. Cruise control, it's all at your fingertips. You can uh, reset, you can decel, and just shut it off. You also have your fog lights. You can push in your fog lights. It's going to be right over here. It's right here. Yeah, you push that push that button, and that's what turns your fog lights on. Okay. It only comes in the Z71 or the fog lights, which is a really nice feature if you're off road. You also have the hill descent in this vehicle. If you need, these trucks don't have engine brakes on. If you're pulling your boat in the mountains and you get down the hill and you need, you want that extra relief of knowing you can get down the hill without your brakes going out. This will act as a, basically an engine brake for your truck when you're going down through the mountains. Also what you can do, you can shift in the manual mode. And see this plus and minus here? Mm -hmm. You can shift it manually. You can also throw it in a manual mode and say you're driving through the mountains and you don't want to go over fourth gear because you know, you're going to get better gas mileage. Mm -hmm. You can shift it up to the fourth gear, throw it down in manual mode, and it'll start down in first gear and will never go past the fourth gear, which is very nice about this. Just with this right here? Just with that right there. Okay. You still have your tow haul. Also, we're going to get to our miling system. This is an award-winning system. Okay. Go ahead and it's all touch screen. Go ahead and hit the audio for me. What you notice here, you see the the plus, or the pause button. Mm -hmm. You can pause live radio in the truck. So you know when your favorite song comes on, then your wife calls and you gotta pause it. Is it you with can FM or FM, AM, AM, everything? Okay. Yes, sir. You can use it on any radio station. You can even fast forward to when you want to catch up to the end of the song, which is a real nice feature. You have these buttons here. So say you don't want to get your screen dirty, you can actually go back, go back to your home button. You can actually function your whole screen with these with these buttons right here as well. You're going to notice this has a navigation system, it's just your compass. Then you can just go back and then your settings. Okay. You can change up your time, your date, which really nice features is valet mode. You can put in a pin. I'm just going to put in 1212 and enter. And then I'm going to re-enter it. If I don't fat finger it. 1212, enter. 1212, I'm going to do it again. Enter, and that's going to lock it. Okay. What that means is, say you valet your vehicle, you don't want anybody to mess with your system, you don't want them touching your radio, mm -hmm. they cannot change anything in your truck. Okay. They cannot change the radio, they have to put in the code to change it. So it locks up your whole system. When you when you pair your, your phone to this, this truck, this truck can literally take an iPad, an iPhone, any smartphone, any tablet, you can pair your, your device to this truck. You can. What's nice about that feature is when you get in and out of your vehicle, it's going to store your phone book. So when you go to the restaurant, put valet mode on, they can't see your phone book. Now, do you have to re-enter code to take the valet off? To yes. Well when you get in, no. When you when you get back in your truck, you're going to hit one two one two mm -hmm. or whatever code you decide to pick, and now it's unlocked. Okay. Now the code changes every single time you use it, so you only use the same code twice. Okay. Also, we're going to start up here. You have our lights. We have LED lights. You have, of course, on. All your standard trucks. You have, of course, when the doors are open, when the doors are closed, or you can have them off all the time. Okay. In the system, we also have our OnStar system. This uh, direct connect. You have your OnStar. You have your safety features. I had a customer that literally will only buy a vehicle with OnStar because it's, she claims it saved her son's life. He was rolling. His truck rolled, and he 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 told his mom. But before his truck stopped rolling, 
he was already on the phone with OnStar. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Cut. <laughs> no. So, also, what you may notice about this truck is it has heated seats. Okay. You can do your back and bottom or just solely your back, which is nice. If you're like me, you're on your feet a lot throughout the day. You get a sore back, you can hit just the back button. It loosens your back up on the ride home, which is a nice feature. You have your dual glove box right here. So you have extra storage, which is a nice feature. What's really cool about this truck is, of course, you got your USBs. You have your USBs, your SD card, and your auxiliary port. So you can hook up your phone or play your, your iPod, you know, load all your music up. This also is your cigarette lighter or phone charger, whatever you need, need to use it for. Nobody uses a cigarette lighter anymore. You don't even see them. Also, what's cool about this, you got your second row of seat right here in case you need it. You know, you need to fit six people in your truck, you can. This is where you hide all the stuff you don't want your wife to find. Right here. You got your underground storage here, which is a pretty nice feature. See these these little holes right here? You can actually, you got an auxiliary port here. You can actually run a cord. You can run the cord into here, and it doesn't. Fit.